Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Eghra family. My name is Ramses Jumar, and today I am with Zakaria Siad, one of our graduate students that graduated last year. We are here to interview him and so he can tell us about his experiences, about how he was in the college, about the teachers, and his general vibe in our family and our community. Welcome, Mr. Zakaria. Oh, thank you. How are you? I'm feeling good, right? Great, thank you. So, first of all, thank you for coming to Iqra College. Thank you for joining the show today. Yeah, I'm so excited to, to join with you, to, to make an interview with you. Thank you. I'm feeling good. Thank you. So, the first question is going to be, how did you learn about the Iqra family? You know, when you were searching for a college to join, to learn English and to challenge yourself, how did you learn about Iqra? All right. That's a good question. How did I learn in Nicola College? In Nicola College, uh, I am the student this who learn with the Facebook. I'm learning Facebook with, with many different skills, like the language, like the computers, something mm. like that. I'm also, um, I'm searching a lot in the Facebook. You're, so you're Facebook? Yeah, I'm Facebook, right? Then uh, I'm trying to find the best college in my country. Then I found the many colleges. I tried many colleges. I tried many colleges. I fellow many colleges. But they didn't work. Yeah, they didn't work. They didn't work the way I want. Mm -hmm. Then I finally found in Ekra College, surprisingly. Then I found it. Then I follow it. Then I saw the teachers, the foreign teachers, the cities and teachers, the Somali. So Somali teachers, uh -huh. all of them, I saw them. The Kenyans, the, Kenyans, the, the Ethiopians, yeah, the Americans. The Americans, the British guys. Yeah. Yeah, all of them. I saw my two different, too many different accents in the college. So you enjoyed the accents? Yeah, I, I really enjoyed the accents. Well, that's, that's very good of you. Yeah, that's how I, that's how I learned the college. Okay, how about this? Can you tell me, how long did you stay here? How long did you stay at Ekra family? At Ekra College. Uh, how long did I stay in Ekra College? Since 2023, 2024. I'm the graduate of uh, the class of 2023, 2024. Really? Really. That's very good. How about this? You know, when you're dealing with foreign teachers or foreign culture, there's something we call culture shock. Yeah. In and culture, Absolutely. you know? Yeah. yeah. So how was your experience with the different teachers and yes. just your whole experience at Iqra? Yes, there's many challenge, there's many different ways that the people feel uh, in, it, in the challenge. Then there's many teachers in the college who are foreign teachers. When you meet them, uh, you feel like you, you met the native people. <laughs> really so, now? <laughs> if you know English probably before, you become a, a beginner. Yeah, yeah really. When, when you met them. So even if you're speaking well for someone, uh, for a Somali person, yes. when you're dealing with foreigners, yes. you're going to be like you're dealing with new English, right? With new English, right. Really? Yes. Then uh, when, I, when I feel that, I lost my confidence huh. when I saw them. I lost my confidence. Then the teachers, uh, they motivated me to to regain my confidence huh. and to take a part with the conversations, to the meetups. The glass activities. The class activities. Your, the your classmates. Yeah, absolutely, yes. Really? That's what, how about you rate it out of 10? Different college? Yeah. Yeah, I rated it 10 out of 10. Really now? Really? <laughs> that is it's amazing. Really that is amazing it's right really now. Good. How about this? Was there any major challenges that faced you at your stay in Iqra? Yes, like I told before, when I, when I joined in Iqra College, I followed Iqra College, I lost my confidence. So the, the many students, they feel like that, they lost their confidence. Happens uh, a lot. Yeah, they lost their confidence. Then that's my biggest challenge. Huh. How did you overcome it? How did you beat the challenge? I mean, I'm, I'm struggling. I'm <laughs> struggling. Just this, while you're here, you're speaking with me, you're speaking proper English with me. So you must have beaten it. 
But when you've met the native teachers, you become the beginner. <laughs> That's our big problem. <laughs> it is though, but you're still beat it because you yeah. should be proud of yourself. You're here That's able right. to speak. That's right. You're right? You have to become the motivator. Okay. <laughs> what about, here's the last question. What motivates you to learn English? What motivates me? Yes. As you, as you know, the English language is the international language. Yeah, it is. Yes. It is a very famous language used it's, worldwide. The worldwide. The half of the world speaks in English. And then we are students. We yeah. want to learn many different faculties. Yeah, in universities, in degrees, masters, masters PhDs, yes, you know? Absolutely. So you want to learn outside the country? Yeah, the abroad. Really? Really. That's why you're learning it. That's so you can I'm communicate learning. with people outside, yeah? Yeah, I'm, tr yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to communicate with people Okay, you're trying to become outside. a doctor. I see you. I see you, no, professor. No, no, no doctor, no doctor. <laughs> I'm not becoming a doctor. I'm, in a, I'm in a software developer. Software developer? Yes. That's amazing. But, so, uh, but you're going to need a lot of English to be able to both communicate and use your laptop, right? Yes. But if you see uh, the YouTube uh, lessons, there's some money teachers who teach that. Yeah. And there are many of them. Uh, many of them is in the Indians. That's very good. You see people here. Yeah. So you have to learn the accent of the Indians. <laughs> you also have to learn their accents, huh? Y yes. <laughs> With no D. With no D. <laughs> Today we're talking about the Dabak Dahul Dog. Exactly, exactly. Yes. You see people, these are the types of students that we produce at Ekra Family. When you stay with us long enough, you'll be able to mix with us. You'll be able to speak as fluently as me and as Mr. Sekaria over here. We always encourage you to try and make friends to try and have conversations just like this. Yes. This may not even be an interview. If we go outside, we're not going to be talking yeah. in Somali. We'll be talking in English, right? Absolutely. Because we use this as our primary language. We use it as the language that we enjoy. We language can know Yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. That's why I always tell you, when you come to your family, Leave your Somali outside, man. And speak English. Speak English with us. Yes. So, we'll welcome you. Come on in and join us. Follow us.